Oh, in their day, uh, they were probably number one um, because they were they changed wrestling um, in both the U.S. and Japan. I mean, there's a lot of guys who changed it, but they were a real influence as far as the the really big moves. And the high impact, just high impact style, more dynamite than Davy. I mean, dynam, you know, dynamite was just, um, you know, I mean, when I really look back, just a phenomenal influence on wrestling. Davy Boy was more of his 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 tag team partner, but but you know, Davy was like a, a dynamite clone almost. So you know, the, but the, but the British Bulldogs in, you know, I mean, like the thing with it, there was more of a tag team era in the '80s. You know, there were so many more great tag teams as compared to now when. You know, if, if a team like the British Bulldogs came along, you know, like eight weeks into their run, they would already have them feuding. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, if you remember, like, the British Bulldogs, and they ended up feuding in Calgary years later, but they never even feuded in WWF, and they were together for years. So, but that's just the mentality. And they never feuded in Japan, and they were together in, for years. So it's just the mentality of, of, of now, one of the reasons why the, you don't have the great tag teams is because they break them up so fast as soon as they get some momentum going. Davy Boy Smith as a wrestler was as good as he was motivated to be. When Davy Boy Smith got someone to light a fire on him under him, uh, like Brett or Shawn Michaels, um, and they wanted to have a good match, Davy Boy could stay with anyone. And you know, Bret Hart Davy Boy Smith match at Wembley Stadium, you know, one of the most famous matches. One of the you know, you know, I've seen Davy in many, many great matches. Many, you know, when Owen Hart and Davy Boy Smith were a tag team, they had many great matches. When he wanted to be, when he didn't want to be, or when he was, you know, he just—I don't want to say faked his way through it. That's not really a fair term, but but he wasn't. He, I've seen many, many matches where he wasn't great. So, you know, it was, it was what Davy Boy's mentality was. You know, unfortunately, towards the end of his career, um, you know, Davy was 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 you know, I guess the injuries and the drugs, but from I'd say. 97 on, he was brutal. He was, you know, um, the drugs just changed him. I mean, I mean, he was he was so bad, you know. I mean, that, that you know, he was literally embarrassing to watch. And I mean, that's really sad to say for someone who was who was so good, you know. At, at you know, in, he had matches in 97 where he was so good, and he had matches in 98 where he was in WCW where he was so bad. Davy was unusual. I mean, he wasn't the only one like that by any means, but but Davy was carrying a lot more weight than he needed to, and it, you know he had this mentality. I think because he was a smaller guy naturally, a lot of the smaller guys in wrestling even today um, have this mentality because they're small that they got to get bigger, they got to get bigger, they got to get bigger. Because I remember talking to wrestlers who were you know who had no need to get bigger, and you know they were doing stuff and they were getting bigger, and they would go. But I'm bigger. How come you know they're not pushing me more? And it's like because you're really not any better. Um, but the mentality is is that like that's 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 how you get your push. And Davy, you know, Davy should have never been more than probably 235 ever at any point in time. He would have been a great wrestler at 235. He would have had a, he had a great physique at 235. I mean, you know, like and then and he needed steroids to be 235. You know, probably too, um, because again, he's not a naturally big guy. Although he was a very very strong guy for his size. Um, and you know he's out there at 270, you know, getting you know, blown up really fast, not wrestling the way he should, um, because he thought that you know the whole thing was you know he wanted to be a big power wrestler because he thought that those were the guys that made the money, and that were on top.